All right, well, I'm outside in the Nine News backyard with Lyle Fair with the Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado. And today we're going to talk about watering your lawns. I actually just learned that it takes about an inch and a half of water per week to keep your lawn thriving. And that could change a little bit if your lawn is in the sunshine or under shade and you want to make sure your whole lawn is equally distributed. So what do we do to make sure that all of that is happening correctly? Well, right at the moment, it's an interesting year because we've been getting so much rain that you need to be turning your system off yeah. and not having it on and saving that money, saving that water for later in the season when we're gonna need it. So I wanna talk a little bit about the different kinds of sprinkler controller or timers that we have available. So the most basic are these that you'll see in a lot of people's garages and at home and you key in a program and whatever you key in, it's going to happen, whether it's raining or not. Obviously, if you don't play with it, that could be a water loss on a rainy day. Uh -huh. So those are the most basics. A lot of people like those home gardeners, people who are around a lot and love to touch things. <laughs> they love these timers. The second component you can add to that is a rain sensor. And this will hang up on the gutter of the house. And when it rains and a little filament in here gets wet, then it interrupts your, con your controller and won't allow it to run for a Ooh. day or maybe two. So that's a great way to save water is by adding a rain sensor. Or There's maybe also if you're a rain out of town gauge. Or on vacation and if that looks like it might help you out if you're just away from your home for a day or two. Exactly. If you're gone for the weekend and it rains, why waste that money? But the new and exciting thing that's happening now are what are called smart controllers. And they are smart because <laughs> they must have an internet connection. Oh, okay. But what they do is they take a daily download of weather data from the prior day or two, and then they will determine, for instance, if we got half of that inch and a half that we needed, these will then water the other half that it didn't get. Okay. So it's smart in that sense that it adjusts your program to what the conditions are. These are really hot, these are great. I will say for people who are technologically challenged <laughs> or don't want to be staring at their phones, uh -huh. then this is not probably the controller for you. <laughs> because look, this doesn't even have a screen on it. There's nothing like you have on these others. There's nothing even to see and that drives people crazy who <laughs> like to see what's happening. Um, so the smart controllers are fantastic new technology, can help save us a lot of water, but make sure they're right for you and research. There are subscription fees for that download of data. So just be aware of all that. Get with a landscape professional, they'll help you. And once you're signed up on this and using it on your phone, you can actually invite a landscape contractor Ooh. to monitor these for you. All right. Well, thank you so much for all of this. And as you mentioned, we've been getting so much natural water that a lot of these probably need to be turned off. So uh, really we'll keep be. all of these in mind, especially as we go later into spring and summer where maybe we might need them. So we will if, need them. if you need an update or a reminder of any of this information, you'll want to visit 9news.com where we'll have this posted for you.